Hey, Ricky, you've been playing kind of all over the floor a little bit, the, the five to four. How, how do you like that versatility, kind of the option to kind of float around a little bit and, and impact the game in different areas? Um, I like it a lot. It gives me the ability to showcase every aspect of my game. Um, I feel like it doesn't just put me in a box, and I feel like it makes it easier for me to get the ball to my teammates because defenders don't know where I'm going to be. Like, you know, we don't even call out plays. It's more so like actions, and I feel like it just – it really helps us a lot. All right, Stefan, go ahead. Maya was kind of saying, and, and Doug Novak echoed this, in terms of the way you guys run the offense and uh, guard, guards get the ball and look to push right away. You guys are pretty free with, with how you move. I mean, what's that like kind of being in that offense when you're constantly just running up and down the floor looking to score? Um, I feel like it's fun, you know. We just go at our pace, um, fast pace. I feel like that's fun basketball, you know, getting the ball up the floor, um, our big ceiling. I just feel like that's really fun basketball opposed to, you know, getting down the court, setting up, and getting a chance for the defense to set up. Like, you know, we want to get it and go. So I like it a lot. I think it's fun. All right, we'll go over to Robbie next. Robbie? Hi, Rakia. It came out really strong in the exhibition game. Came out tonight the same way. You had nine points in the first quarter, I think 18 in the first half. Just really seemed to be locked in early on in the season. What's What do you feel like has been working for you in, in the first two times you've been out on the floor? Um, I would just have to say practice. Um, I feel like I've been taking practice a little bit, well, well a lot more serious this year. Um, working on the little things that help me stay balanced um biggest thing was my balance and you know still getting better each and every day it's not where I want it to be yet but I feel like my main thing was my balance and my confidence on my shots and things of that sort um I feel like I don't get down on myself even if I miss a shot now because I know like okay well like the next one's going in because I, I've worked for it this whole like preseason so um yeah I would have to say that if I can follow up on that, you, you talked about taking practice more seriously. What do you think has been the difference for you to kind of flip that switch? Um, I would have to say just me finally accepting the leader role. Um, people always say you're a leader even if you don't want to be. And I feel like previous years I just was not ready to step into that role, whether people followed me or not. But I feel like I'm actually, you know, trying to be that leader for this team. And um, I feel like we need it. Like, you know, without leadership, it's not going to be a great season. So I feel like, you know, with the help of me and Maya, helping the new people, because, you know, we've been here. Um, so I feel like that definitely correlates to the game too. All right, we got time for a few more. We'll go to Tanner. Go ahead, Tanner. Hey, Rakia. Uh, Coach talked about how he, want, he wants this offense to be really wide in terms of motion. Uh, is that something you as a scorer have, have kind of enjoyed so far? Definitely. Um, I'm so used to teams just sitting in the middle of the floor and only can shoot the ball. You know, uh, I like to drive the ball, too. So I feel like it just like I said, it gives the ability for me to kick it out to my teammates if need be. You know, not everyone's stacked on top of each other. So, you know, like we use the whole floor. Like we're not just using like half of the floor. Like we get up there. So I feel like it just creates more driving lanes, more gaps. It's harder for defenders to, you know, come over because if they come over, then I can just kick it to my teammate, knock down a shot. So I feel like it's that's fun too. Good deal. All right, we'll finish up with Stefan and Andy. Stefan, you go ahead and go first. Obviously, the circumstances for Doug Novak to kind of step in, you know, so soon after joining the team as interim head coach, what's it mean for you guys, you know, after this past month to, to get out here and get a win for him? It means a lot because the, we will tell you, like, the first day Coach Doug coached us in practice, it felt like he's been here forever. Like, it didn't feel like – Oh, he's new. Like he came in, he's vocal. He, everybody, I think everybody just noticed he had a great basketball mind from day one. Like, you know, it wasn't like, uh, let's do this. It was just like, okay, here, all right, here. Like he knew what he was doing from day one. So it just felt like he's been here forever. So it just means a lot. And we know how hard he works and we're his first um, female team. So I know we'd be stressing him out. <laughs> I know we'd be stressing him out, but it means a lot to definitely get him this one. It really does. All 
All right, go ahead and finish this off, Andy. D Doug's talked a little bit about like finding an identity, and I guess you, you guys haven't totally found it yet. But but when he talks about that, what exactly is that identity that that he wants to find in, in your eyes? I feel like we have to create it ourselves, but um, we have to do the little things and we have to find it within ourselves you know can't nobody just come up and be like you need to be this type of team we have to do it on our own um I feel like there's different identities within a team but I feel like we haven't figured ours out yet but I feel like as the season progresses we will definitely figure it out but I know we want to get the ball up the floor for sure but on the defensive side you know we're still learning and we're still finding it and I feel like it will come really quickly. All right, thanks everybody.